The former Minister of Defence, Dr. Crispus Chionga, has advised communities that live in the disaster prone areas around Mount Renzori in Kasese district to vacate for a meantime to avoid the unforeseen disasters. Living in the mountains is not sustainable. That mountain is friable, is very vulnerable, and every now and then uh, we we'll get, we'll get uh, those calamities. This was during an assessment visit by Dr. Kiyonga of the disaster affected areas in Kasese district where different infrastructure including bridges, roads and other properties were washed away and over 15 lives lost. The road that is leading to Kilembe is almost breaking and this water you're seeing it is continuing down below, below Kitagata and there, there are some crops, the sugar canes that have also been eroded, that have been taken. Kasese district is among the districts that are still prone to flooding if the rains continue. Dr. Crispus Chionga called for urgent response from the Line Ministry of Disaster and Preparedness to curb further calamities. But once people have education, they get alternative employment, they will leave. They will leave the mountains and leave gardens, their forests. In a related development, at least nine people have been injured and several families displaced in Kagadi district following the heavy hailstorm that hit five villages of Mpefu sub county on Lake Albert Shores. <laughs> The nine people who were injured in Pefu Sub County belong to the same family. Salim Lutaro Mohammed, the Kagadi Agriculture Officer, says the hailstorm destroyed properties worth millions and also left many homeless. The minister, to help our people in Kasara, our people in Kashebeya, and, uh, and the Kagadi, there is a place called the Kagadi in Mujegur B. All those people are really affected. We can help them with the food, with food reliefs, with the, with the seed to plant next season because they don't hope to get what to eat. There are many farmers who are crying. They were in circles, they had borrowed the money, they were crying how they would, what will they do to pay back? Where will they get money to pay back? Because they, all the plantations are down. They cannot sell bananas and the banana is the major cash crop for them where they get an income. And uh, they are also worried how they will take, they will take back school, their children to school. He has appealed to the office of the Prime Minister and the Disaster Preparedness Ministry to intervene.